I am finally back on 2B2T and quite a bit has happened in the last few months. A lot of YouTubers have decided to record on 2B2T and because of that, the queue is over a thousand players right now. And since there are a lot of new players, I thought I'd make this video to teach you guys how to survive on 2B2T and how to get started. The first thing you guys are going to need is a good hack client. If you do not use hacks on 2B2T, you will be at a huge disadvantage and there is no no way that you'll be able to survive on this server. I have a couple good options linked in the description down below. One of them is paid and one of them is free. These are two of the best hack clients to use on 2B2T and I don't recommend downloading other hack clients because you never know if those hack clients are actually safe to use. After you've downloaded a hack client, you're gonna have to wait a long time to get in the server because there's a huge queue right now. If you don't want to do that, then you can always buy priority queue and skip the queue. That is personally what I did because I'm not waiting in a seven hour queue. Finally, you've escaped the queue and you're now on 2B2T. What you wanna do is go to your hack client, turn on x-ray and make sure portals are visible. You wanna look around and see if you can find another portal. If there are no nether portals in this area, you just need to do slash kill until you can find a good area that has nether portals. Now you always need to be careful because some of these nether portals could be trapped or there could be people waiting by those nether the portals to kill people who come out of them. So you want to make sure you're about a thousand blocks away from spawn before you go into a portal. After that you want to get to Y level 120. This is where all the nether highways are built. Now that you are on the nether highway, you should walk a few thousand blocks in and find a portal and go back to the overworld. Now that you are a lot farther from spawn, you should be able to find some trees and get some wood. This is where you can start doing your basic survival stuff, make some wood tools, make stone tools. After you have your stone tools, you want to turn x-ray on and look for iron. After you have your iron, you can make an iron pickaxe, then use your x-ray to find diamonds. Once you have enough diamonds, you can start making a full set of diamond armor and diamond tools. You have a few options now. You can store all of your stuff in an ender chest and do slash kills. That way you'll be at full hunger, you'll be at full health, and you can go any direction you want. Or you can choose to stay in that area and set up a camp. But I don't advise staying in this area for longer than a couple days because there are people constantly patrolling spawn and most likely if you build anything near this area it will be destroyed. The next thing you guys are going to need to do is find a source of food. If you do not find food then you are going to die. There are a few ways you can get food on 2B2T. If you're lucky you will be near somebody else's base. Maybe they have a farm or maybe they just have a whole bunch of food in their chest and you can get food that way. Most likely, you won't be that lucky. So what I recommend is killing a couple spiders, making a fishing rod, turn on auto fish, and you pretty much have an infinite source of food. All you need is water and a fishing rod. Now that you're geared up and ready to survive 2B2T, I'm gonna be teaching you where to make a base and how to keep it safe from griefers. The first thing you guys are gonna need to do is go into the nether. The nether allows you to travel at a farther distance in less time than the overworld. If you plan on making a huge base with a bunch of people that has crazy insane builds, you probably want to go out a few million blocks in the overworld. If you just want to make a normal base that doesn't have crazy builds, then you want to go about a hundred thousand blocks out in the overworld. I do not recommend going anything under a hundred thousand blocks. I know a hundred thousand blocks seems like a long distance, but when people have crazy hack clients that allow them to fly, that allow them to teleport, do all all these crazy things, a hundred thousand blocks is really not that far. Once you think you've made it far enough, what you want to do is you want to move a few thousand blocks away from the nether highway. And you should probably forge a whole new path in the nether and replace the blocks behind you. This makes it almost impossible for other people to follow your tracks. Now you can make a portal and head back to the overworld. You also need to remember to destroy your nether portal on both sides because you don't want people stumbling across your nether portal and have instant access to your base. So all 
always destroy nether portals. If you're gonna leave your base, destroy the nether portal. It's always best to be safe. You also need to be very careful who you trust your base with and never take a screenshot of your base because there's an exploit that people can use to actually find your location. This is how a whole bunch of 2B2T bases have been destroyed. So if you are gonna share any screenshots, you have to make sure to completely transform the terrain. That means change every single block in your screenshot or else people are just gonna trace that screenshot and find your base and destroy so yeah, this is my guide for new 2B2T players. If you guys think I missed anything, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, and I might make a part 2 if this video gets enough support. Okay.